It's hard to watch something you love destroy itself, to see it fall apart. Disaster always feels so distant, detached. Someone else's struggle in some faraway place. It's not until it's in our city, at our doors, that we realize how fragile we are. All of us. All of this. In 2001, a real-world exercise tested the emergency response to a bioterror attack on the continental United States. The operation was called Dark Winter. Within just a few days, the simulation spiraled out of control. The operation predicted a rapid breakdown in essential institutions, civil disorder, and massive civilian casualties. Dark Winter has revealed how vulnerable we've become. Our lifestyle, our security, our safety, depends on a delicate and unstable economy. We've created a system so complicated that we no longer understand how to control it. Oil, power, shipping, transport. We live in a complex world. And the more complex it gets, the more fragile it becomes. The system is built on a global supply chain that gets things where they're needed, just in time. We've created a house of cards. Remove just one, and everything falls apart. And what's fueling the system? Money. Americans can spend $90 billion in a single day of shopping. 
Last year, 200 million people swarmed their local stores on November 23rd. We call that day Black Friday. Did you know that a flu virus can survive on the surface of a banknote for up to 17 days? One day, there will be a pandemic. It could begin during the crush of Black Friday sales. A pathogen will jump from tainted banknotes to human skin, onto food, toys, children, and loved ones. By the time patient zero feels the first sore throat, millions of people will already be infected. From this point, the breakdown will happen fast. Day one, hospitals will reach capacity. Panic will strike. Day two, quarantine zones will be established. Resources will be rationed. Transport will go into lockdown. Day three, international trade will stop. The oil will dry up. The stock market will collapse. Day four, the power will fail. The shelves will be empty. The taps will run dry. And once hunger and despair take hold, people will do anything for survival. By day five, everyone will be a potential threat. In 2007, a new presidential directive was signed quietly into law. This maps out the government's response to a crisis, a plan to cope with a real dark winter. It is known as Directive 51. There are rumors of shadow agencies, sleeper cells, covert agents, but nothing can be confirmed. Our complex world is primed for breakdown. And once the chaos strikes, there won't be resources to save us all. The only question left is, what will it take to save what remains? Snow is falling down just a little bit, the world's so quiet and still. Santa's out there flying around and it's true. Okay, I know where we are. I'm setting the waypoint to the base. Check your map. Sir, I think we found the hijack one. We had a ship, you hear me? It broke through the subway tunnels. I, I don't know Looks like it's pretty close. Alright, follow me. It's this way. Looks clear. a reading over here. This must have been the last train out. Looks like everybody panicked. Okay. Where's Bronson? I'll send him another invite. This must be where they were talking about. Watch your step. There you are. Hey guys. I brought Chris. Hey Chris. Hey. Let's go open up the area up ahead. Okay, we're about to unlock my base. It's up here on the right. out first as quietly as possible. All right, I have Tesla and Pulse up. All right, Ryan, let's change up our skills. I'll pull aggro from the left here. You guys good to go? All good. Yep, ready. All right, here we go. Up there! He's down. What? Get, him. Get the last guy, get the last guy. Don't I can't, him. he's getting away. He's gone, he's gone, got incoming. All right, let's go. Okay, come from the right. Find cover, find cover. Ooh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Holy crap. There they are. There's loads of them. 
Specially developed to create the deep and vast universe of Tom Clancy's The Division. Never before has a video game reached this level of detail. This chaotic and decayed New York City is enhanced by a dynamic day-night cycle. The rendering engine supports volumetric lighting to add atmosphere throughout the environment. As in film production, Snowdrop uses a light probe system that captures lighting realistically in both outdoor and indoor scenes. To enhance immersion, surfaces react with unprecedented physical accuracy. Snowdrop's powerful particle system reacts dynamically to a vast range of environmental factors, including light. By harnessing next-gen technology, Snowdrop's shader system allows the world to react to the constantly changing weather. world. The Snowdrop engine makes this world a reality. Be prepared to enter the next generation of gaming.
Nick, check your map. See if there's anything in the area. Cool. I'll get the door. You good? Let's 
Uh, brace for BBB. 